increasing speed of exponential technology, or increasing speed of development of technologies, um, is making a lot of changes happen, especially because these changes, these speed of developments in different domains is now coming together. So the convergence of all these domains working on technologies, but also the applicability from one domain, for example in robotics, which is now also being applied in healthcare and which can be applied in mobility, for example, is further increasing the speed of those technologies. So if you look at precision engineering in, in uh, the Netherlands uh, versus uh, the rest of the world, uh, you see uh, interesting differences. So um, precision engineering in the Netherlands focuses a lot on, on uh, high-tech equipment uh, uh, with uh, megatronics uh, content. It's a great community. It has a long uh, history. There's a lot of known faces you meet over here, but also there's a lot of new faces. So I think the combination is very good. I will come back to that uh, conference. I really, I really like it and all the, the sessions are well organized and I'm learning a lot, so that's a really nice uh, event to attend. It's extremely important to bring together people from different fields because the applicability from one um, field to another is becoming increasingly um, easy to do in a way. So if you want to achieve high levels in terms of results, it's true that you have to work with uh, a team of people. We cannot achieve everything by ourselves. And it's even more true in the mechatronic systems um, because that, by essence, is a multidisciplinary field. So, yes, you need the input from uh, mechanical engineers, from systems engineers, which all have uh, an insight on the higher level of mechatronics. For the DSPE, collaboration between our uh, precision engineers is very important. In the past, that was executed at the, the company Philips, where many engineers worked and lived together, so communication was easy. In the 90s, uh, it was more split up in separate companies, and now the DSPE takes the role of uh, joining those people together, for instance, in this conference. A second important uh, subject for the DSPE is the growth of our industry. I believe we are very good in precision engineering and several examples of uh, very uh, common industry in the Netherlands uh, prove that. Uh, therefore, I think we need to spread our wings to the outside world and look into the world where they can use our competence. Because we have the competence, we have the culture of thinking out of the box, of non-hierarchical uh, decision making, which gives the most creative designs, uh, which can be applied in our industry. If you look at how Megatronic started, it was basically precision mechanics and automated control which were merged, uh, electrifying mechanics you can say. But if you look at Megatronic uh, moving forward, uh, you need much more disciplines. So I think the system thinking is, is uh, very important and I think moving forward it's all about bridging. So uh, as I mentioned, bridging between disciplines, uh, but also bridging science and engineering. I think there is much more to gain if, if, if those two communities act more active together. We sometimes underestimate um, the, the huge amount of work that's being done in this group and in this um, community. Um, so I think it's very good to be appreciative of what's happening here, that this is a, a very important part of the driving forces behind all of these technological developments, as well as that I would really um, try to help people understand to sometimes zoom out a little bit and to envision where the things that you are working on uh, are going towards and to understand that you for example have to look at partnerships beyond your current scope uh, and I hope that uh, we'll see much more of that in the future.